Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. Jaded Blossoms May Release is now available and there are so many fun products included. If you are interested in any of the items, I do have links provided in the description box below. So let me show you everything that's included in the release. First up is a stamp set called Chubby Carrot and there are coordinating outline dies. Currently, this is not available for individual purchase. It's a freebie you'll receive if you purchase at least $60 worth of product and one of the items has to be from the new release. This is only available on Thursday and Friday or while supplies last. Next up, we have a stamp set called Mushroom Cluster and there are coordinating outline dies, lots of beautiful images, plus the sentiment hello. And I like how they've also included the coordinating die for the sentiment. Next is a sentiment stamp set called Happy Gardening and there are coordinating outline dies, Lots of really fun sentiments that work well with the new dies in the May release. Many of the sentiments include the word gnome, so it'll work nicely with the gnome dies, but I like how they've included several sentiments that don't have the word gnome. So if you're not adding a gnome to your card, you'll still have sentiments to use. The next item is a standalone die set called Wheelbarrow Die. This is a really fun set. It has the option of putting just the dirt inside the wheelbarrow, or you can also add the dirt with some beautiful tulips growing out of it. And it does fit nicely on an A2 size card with one of the gnomes. There's a new build a set called Garden Add-ons. Has the words flowers, seeds, and plants. A couple different buntings to add to your booth. We have flowers, seeds, and also a fun vine. The build a booth die set is really fun, but you could also use the add-on sets without the booth. There is a new stamp set to go along with the garden booth add-ons. It's called Plants for Sale. All of the sentiments will fit on one of the boards for the build a booth, or you can use them individually on a card. Jaded Blossom always has great sentiment sets. Next up, we have the new gnome die add-on set called Garden. So many fun images, perfect for making some cards for your gardening friends. We have the vines to add to the top of a hat. There's a plant, a packet of seeds, the little shovel, a watering can, a ladybug, some flowers, a pair of gardening gloves. The images are fun to use with the gnome dies, but you can also use them individually. The final item is a new stencil set called Vine. This is a single stencil and it's perfect for creating a fun background to use with the new stamps and dies in Jaded Blossoms release. I do have a few cards to share with you using the May release. For card design number one, I have a white piece of cardstock and I used a die from Pink Fresh Studio to add a fun stitch detail to the background. I'll put ATG tape on the back and also a little bit of glue along that very outside edge and adhere my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Now I'll start assembling the fun wheelbarrow. I cut out the background pieces from some white cardstock and all of that'll be covered up. It's really just a guide so you know where to add all the individual pieces. I used some dark green cardstock for the leaves and also the stems for the tulips. And I couldn't resist making pink tulips since they are my favorite. Chose this lovely bright pink color. When assembling this floral piece, I recommend putting the stems down before the dirt since they are slightly longer. If you add the dirt down first, the very bottom of all of the stems will sit on top of it. Once I have the floral piece all assembled, I'll start working on the wheelbarrow. I cut out the tire from black cardstock and the center part of the tire from some dark gray cardstock. I'll adhere those down first. Then I'll add the handle of the wheelbarrow and I use some dark brown cardstock for that. The base of the wheelbarrow I cut out from some silver mirror cardstock. And I thought it would be fun to have a teal colored wheelbarrow. I think pink and teal look really nice together. Now I can fill the wheelbarrow with the tulips and dirt. I'll put glue on the back and adhere the wheelbarrow on the right side of the card. For some added weight, I'm laying an acrylic block on top while I let that glue dry. Now we'll start working on the little gnome. 
I've already assembled most of the gnome, but I wanted to show how to add the vines to the top of the hat. I cut out the background piece from some green cardstock and the vine from some brown cardstock. You could add just that brown piece of the vine, but for a little extra detail, I also cut out all of the tiny leaves individually and I'll glue those in place. The three short vine pieces were designed to go on the top of the traditional gnome hat, but you could also add those little vine pieces to other objects. I think it would look fun wrapped around the handle of the wheelbarrow. You could add it to a wooden fence, lots of other options. Once I've adhered the last leaf, I'll put glue on the back and wrap the vine around the gnome's hat, starting with the largest piece, then the medium and the shortest piece at the top. It's always fun to have new options for the gnome's hats. This little gnome will be holding a watering can. I cut out the back piece from some blue iridescent cardstock and used a slightly darker teal color for the main portion of the watering can. I'll glue the two together, put foam dimension on the back. I will cut some smaller pieces of foam to fit in those tiny areas on the back of the watering can. And I'll also add one of the smaller foam pieces to the very top of his hat. I'll remove the release paper, add my gnome on the left side of the card. Now I'll adhere the gnome's hands to the watering can. I'll put one on the handle and one underneath the spout. Add just a couple more pieces of foam dimension so they'll be underneath his hands. I'll remove the release paper and adhere the watering can in front of the gnome. He is all ready for a fun day of gardening, planting the beautiful pink tulips. For a little extra detail, I'm using a white gel pen and adding some highlights to the gnome's hat, his nose, feet, and also the watering can. Then I'll put a few highlights on the wheelbarrow, the dirt, and also the pink tulips. For a sentiment, I've already stamped and cut this out, plant kindness. And I cut out a second piece using the outline die from some teal cardstock. Adhere the two pieces together so there's a slight drop shadow underneath the sentiment. And I did put foam dimension on the back. I'll adhere the sentiment on top of the wheelbarrow. For a final finishing touch, I'm adding a couple of shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. Two pink hearts above the sentiment. I have all of these leftover Doodlebug shape sprinkles. I'm really trying to use them up. And the tiny hearts are perfect for adding just that extra little touch. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. For card design number two, I'll be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Freshly Made Sketches. It's number 582. The pattern paper I'm using is by Reminisce. It's their Plant with Love collection. It's brand new and I knew it would be perfect to use with the Jaded Blossom release. I selected pattern paper for the background that has the look of maybe close-up terracotta or possibly cedar fencing. I'm adding some Love From Lizzie peel-offs along the top and bottom. This is the racing green mirror color in the pinstripe style. I put one strip along the top and two toward the bottom. I'll wrap the ends around the back, layer this piece on some dark green cardstock, Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add some circle die cuts. I used a stitch circle die and two more of the pattern papers from the Reminisce collection. The larger circle features lots of plants. The smaller circle is a tone-on-tone -tone leaf pattern. Inside the smaller circle, I'll add a potted plant and this die is included in the new gnome garden add-on set. I used some specialty cardstock for the pot, copper colored and it has an embossed texture on it. And I used a lighter green cardstock for the plant. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment happy gardening and I used the same dark green cardstock for the drop shadow. I'll put adhesive on the back and adhere the sentiment to the left of the potted plant. For embellishments, I'm using more Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the mini circle style in the racing green mirror color. I'll put two in the upper right-hand corner and three around the sentiment. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. 
For card design number three, the card sketch is from Sketch Saturday. This is number 724. I selected this fun, leafy, jungle-looking pattern paper for the background. The opposite side of this pattern paper has the tone-on-tone, -tone dark green leaf design. From that pattern paper, I cut two narrow strips and I'll adhere them to the left side of the card. And I layered the very background on some dark green cardstock. Put my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a stitch circle die cut, and I cut this out of some white shimmer cardstock. At the very bottom of this circle, I'm adding some of the dirt pattern paper. To make sure it fit perfectly on the circle, I use the same circle die and also one of Jaded Blossom's border die for the little hillside of dirt. And I'll just adhere those two pieces together with some glue. I've already assembled my gnome. This time a little girl wearing a light green hat and skirt. She has on some yellow pants. I used the leg add-on to change up her legs. Added the fun vines to the top of her hat and she's holding a large leaf and this is from Jaded Blossom's flower die set. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, have an unbelievable birthday. And I'll adhere that in the upper right hand corner. To finish off the card, I'll add more of the mini circle peel offs in the racing green mirror color. Put a few of them around the circle die cut. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. This is one of my favorite cards. The little jungle gnome is just adorable. Now moving on to card design number four. I'm using another fun leafy pattern paper for the background. At the very bottom of the panel, I did add a 3 4 inch strip of dark green cardstock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. I've already assembled one of the booths. And using the new Garden Build a Boot die set, I've already assembled some of the vines. I used dark green cardstock for the main vine and a green pearlescent cardstock for the leaves. I'll add one vine to the top of the booth, the other vine to the bottom. And I did flip them around so they look slightly different. I have a third vine. I'll cut that in half and wrap it around the two sides of the booth. And since the vine die cuts are from paper and not twine, they don't easily wrap around the booth. I'm using the curved areas of the vine to make it look like it's wrapped around that booth side. I'll put glue on the back of the leaves on the front. And to help it stay in place on the back side, I'm adding some double-sided adhesive tape. Once I finish the left side of the booth, I'll add the vine on the right side. I'll secure the back side of the vine in place with some double-sided tape. And I am trimming off just a tiny bit of the vine. Now I'll flip over the booth, put glue on the back, and adhere it to the front of the card. The build a booth die cut is fairly large, and it fills up almost the entire area of an A2 size card. It's so fun to customize, and Jaded Blossom now has several different add-on sets to go along with their build a booth dies. In a previous video, I used Jaded Blossom's Scallop Caddy die to turn the booth into a cute treat box. For a sentiment, I'm adding the word plants, and I've already cut this out from some black shimmer cardstock. In order to get the sentiment perfectly lined up, I put some tacky tape on the front of the sentiment. I'll put glue on the back side and adhere this sentiment onto a light green stitched rectangle die cut. And that die cut is part of the original build a booth set. Before removing the tacky tape, I'll let that glue adhere for a few minutes. I'm filling up the booth with lots of pretty potted plants. And I thought it'd be fun to add some pretty red flowers. There is a small die included for the center of the flowers, but I'm using some Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the mini circle style in the gold moon dust color. And I'm adding the smallest circle inside each of the red flowers. Two of the plants have three flowers and the one in the center has two. Now I'll add the three plants inside the booth. I use my tweezers to loosen up just that very edge of the booth. So there's enough space to tuck the bottom of the pot underneath. I'll glue down the first two plants and the third one I'll put some foam dimension on the back. Now I'll put glue on the back of the plant sign and adhere it to the bottom portion of the booth. I've also cut out two more pots and assembled the gardening fork and the trowel. 
I'll add the two pots in the lower right hand corner. The gardening fork will sit on the ground next to the pots and the trowel will sit in front of that back pot. And I do have foam dimension on the back of the trowel. The gnome that's running the plant booth left some of their supplies sitting in front. For the gardening tools, I use silver mirror cardstock for the metal and a royal blue cardstock for the handles. I also cut out two more small leaves and I'll adhere them on the right and left side of the word plants. I know I cut out a second dark green leaf, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to stop the video to go and cut out another one. I'm sure it'll show up later. To finish off the card, I'm using a white gel pen to add a few highlights to the booth and also the leaves on the plants. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. The gnomes do fit nicely behind or in front of the booth, but I decided this time not to have any gnomes on the card. Now moving on to card design number five. The pattern paper is from Honeybee Stamps Gingham Happy Hearts Collection. I'm using this pretty soft blue color. At the bottom of the panel, I'm adding some Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the teal mirror color in the pinstripe style. I'm using the widest and also the narrowest width. I'll wrap the ends around the back, layer this piece on a scallop rectangle die cut, and the scallop die is from Jaded Blossom. I'll put adhesive on the back and add my card front onto a card base. For this card, I'll also be using Jaded Blossom's Mason Jar Die. This isn't part of the release, but I thought it worked perfectly with the gardening theme of the new release. I cut out the jar from some white shimmer cardstock and use some pink and white polka dot paper for the top of the jar. I'll fill up the jar just as both of my kids did when they were little, adding twigs, leaves, and little crawling critters. I'll first add some dirt to the bottom of my jar. I use Jaded Blossom's border die set for that slight hillside at the top of the dirt. I'm adding a couple of branches. And this die set is not by Jaded Blossom. It's from Honeybee Stamps Lovely Layers Winter Greenery Set. I also cut out two large leaves and these are from Jaded Blossom's Flower Die Set. I'll first add one leaf on the right side of the jar. Then I'll adhere one of the sticks above it. Then I'll add another stick on the left side of the jar and the final leaf in front of it. I have some areas of the stick going off the edge of the jar. I'll simply flip it over to trim off the extra. For the pink and white polka dot fabric top of the jar, I'll put some thin foam dimension on the back side. I'll remove the release paper, put glue on the back of the rest of the jar and adhere it to my card right above the two peel off strips. Now you may be wondering what crawling critters I'll be adding inside of the jar. Well, don't worry, they're just cute little ladybugs. I use light pink cardstock for their bodies, red cardstock for the back, and I did cut out another body from black cardstock. I trimmed down that piece so I could hear it behind the red piece. Put it behind the red piece so I could have black spots. I didn't feel like inlaying all those teeny tiny spots. To make their eyes pop, I did use a black marker. I have foam dimension on the back of two of the ladybugs. The third one I'll glue down on the right side of the jar toward the bottom. One ladybug will be climbing one of the sticks in the jar and the last ladybug will be at the very bottom of the jar in the center. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, Hey Lady, and I use some teal cardstock for the drop shadow. I do have foam dimension on the back side and I'll adhere the sentiment in the lower left hand corner. Using more of Doodlebug Design Shape Sprinkles, I'll add a pink flower on the right side of the jar, put some green polka dots on the leaves, some tiny leaves in the dirt inside the jar, and also some teal colored hearts. I'll put three around the sentiment and two in the upper right hand corner. For a final finishing touch, I'll use a white gel pen and add a few highlights to the jar, the leaves, the dirt, and the ladybugs. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I love how this card turned out. The ladybugs inside the jar are just adorable. Now moving on to my final card design. This is number six. 
I really wanted to use the new vine stencil. I have a piece of craft cardstock in my mini stencil mat. I'm using Catherine Pooler's sage colored ink. And I'm really focusing on adding the ink in the center of this stencil. I'll lift up this stencil in the lower right hand corner just to take a peek, make sure I have enough ink. Then I'll remove it from the mini stencil mat. Now I'll cut it out using Jaded Blossom stylized rectangle dies. I'm using the second to the largest size. The pattern paper is from Honeybee Stamps Giddy for Gingham collection. I selected this nice olive green color. I'll layer that piece on some white shimmer cardstock, put my card front onto a card base, then I'll adhere the stylized rectangle die cut. I'll put ATG tape on the back and also some glue along that outside stitched edge. That'll help it lay nice and flat on my card. For a sentiment, I've already stamped and cut this out. You are seed sational. The sentiment is from the Plants for Sale stamp set and the stitched rectangle piece is from the original Build a Booth die set. I have foam dimension on the back. I'll remove the release paper and adhere the sentiment toward the top portion of the card. Next, I'll add several bags of seeds. I cut out the bags from some mustard yellow cardstock and the seeds from some dark brown cardstock. I'll add three of the seed bags down using glue and the two in front I'll pop up using some foam dimension. For embellishments, I'm using some sprinkles from Doodlebug, this pretty green color. I'll add two in the upper right hand corner, three in the lower left hand corner. And these are fairly old, so I am adding a drop of glue to adhere them to my card. For a final finishing touch, I'll use a white gel pen and add some highlights to the bags of seeds and also the seed. So there is my finished card, very simple card design, and I did make a total of two. I really enjoy Jaded Blossom's gnomes but sometimes it's fun to use just the image dies on a card. I have a 13 year old daughter who's very artsy. She loves to draw and she's recently been introduced to graphic design using Photoshop. I showed her the image on the mushroom cluster stamp set and asked if she wanted to color it. She agreed and pulled out my Copic markers and did an amazing job on the mushroom floral image. She searched through my craft room for other supplies to finish off her card. The pattern paper is from Honeybee Stamps. The sentiment is a cut apart by Paper Rose and she also added Love From Lizzie Peel Offs. Now here's another look at the 12 cards I made using Jaded Blossom's brand new May 2023 release. This is such a fun release. I love the gardening theme, which is actually funny because I am not a fan of gardening at all. I do not have a green thumb other than my nail polish. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Jaded Blossom always has such fun releases. I look forward to them every month. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.